Hi, this is Mark from Newsweek.com, and I'll talk to you again about ENDPQ. Uh, last time I reported that uh, because of the Purdue verdict, I felt that ENDP Incorporated, uh, even though they st started trading on the OTC, uh, was in a bit of a trouble. And I do believe if we act now, as opposed to slandering them and saying things prior, uh, we may have some good luck with the courts. I'm hoping that people do start to organize uh, and that we start talking to legal professionals. Uh, one thing I've kept from you, concealed from you, is I do know the law firm that was successful in capturing quite a bit of money from Mallincroft using them, or Mallincroft, however you say it, uh, by uh, using people that were local, uh, very powerful attorneys in uh, a particular state that uh, had access to the executives of the company and were able to sue them uh, kind of on the hush-hush. I do believe that that's not necessary anymore. I do believe, though, we should probably uh, reach out to these attorneys that I've met with and uh, start to make actions uh, to the company. We should also start working very closely with the opioid victims because clearly uh, Endo International got away with murder uh, not paying enough by simply claiming to these opioid victims that they didn't have any money. Uh, I don't care if we end up putting the company out of business 100%, but this is what has to be done. And uh, hopefully we can uh, negotiate something, manage it well enough so that we do get paid our fair share, which should be substantial. And uh, I know that several uh, uh, investors um, have been talking to each other. I know that there's a uh, email list, and I think now is the time to act, uh, but act properly. Uh, going around slandering them is not going to help. Uh, what we need is good legal action, and there's got to be enough meat on it so that an attorney can make quite a bit of money. Now, if you think I'm going to lay out cash to hire an attorney, that's wrong. I want an attorney in this as my partner, along with you, that they get paid and we get paid. That's the only way this can work. Thanks. This is Mark from Newsweed.com on Endo International, E-N-D-P-Q. Uh, they have a new symbol now called N-D-O-I. Their trading has been pathetic. Uh, less than 2,000 shares have traded since it supposedly went public. Trust me, we have some leverage now. Everyone should communicate with everyone. My number is 215-219-7699. If I do not answer... It's because I don't have my phone with me, but I answer everyone. So let's stop the shenanigans. Clearly to me, Teddy was working for Endo. Uh, clearly to me, uh, Biotech Bets is nervous now. We have some leverage. 215-219-7699. After I see everyone organized, I will disclose the attorneys that say they have the capability. Thank you.